Today we're going to remove the LCD from an iPhone 5 that got wet so we can see if we can get the moisture out of the LCD and put it back in. Uh, you want to be careful of the flex cables inside the phone behind the lens right in this area here or actually down here uh, is where they plug in. At the bottom we're going to start with two pentalobe screws. These are on either side of the charging port They're just like the ones that are used on the iPhone 4. So we'll start by removing those two. Let's take a look at the way I'm holding the phone and when you go to remove the lens you're going to want to grip it this way because as you pull on the suction cup to remove the lens from the front you don't want to pull out too far because of those cables that are attached to the top. If you do some damage to those uh, you're definitely not going to be using this LCD again. If it's a broken one uh, a lot of it's going to get thrown away but just as a rule of thumb whenever you're removing this you want to make sure that you limit the range of motion when you pull. You can see I'm pulling on the suction cup but also using my hand to shield the phone so that it, when it does finally release, and this one was pretty tough, it can't go too far. So I had to use quite a bit of force to get this one to start to open and since it didn't open up evenly I'm going to um, stop using the suction cup and just kind of pry underneath here with my pry tool and then very slowly angle the lens upward towards the top and this will expose the cables which are actually underneath a metal shield inside of the phone. The first thing that we want to do before we go any further is uh, take note that particular screw in the top right hand side that I'm pointing to is not ma uh, cannot be uh, it's not metallic or for some reason doesn't stick to a magnetized screwdriver so that's going to be fun later on. These two screws here you'll remove from the cover plate that holds the battery terminal in place so once you take those two off, you'll have this little plate that can be removed and that will expose the um, pop connector here for the battery. So we'll just go ahead and go under that, disconnect it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this battery and uh, if you have any trouble getting it out, be sure to apply some heat. This one wasn't too tricky and there's an area where you can pry here without damaging anything on the inside of the phone, almost at the middle, just below the middle of the battery. So just very gently pry on this and it comes right out. Not too bad. They didn't uh, waste, uh, actually they did put a pull tab in there. We'll probably break off really easy. That one screw you have to keep, keep in mind there's no way for it to stick to the screwdriver because it is not affected by a magnet. I'm not sure what it's made out of. Oh, I'm sure there's a reason why they use that. Those two you can take out and set aside. I would recommend you try not to go too far with this last screw. If it stayed in the plate that would be great. More than likely it will fall off inside of the phone. So if it's not in the phone, it's going to be somewhere on your desktop or on the floor. Just be really careful because it's easy to lose that one. And you'll see here when I lift the plate off, the screw actually fell inside of the phone. So I've got to pull that one back out and that's going to be fun putting it back in since it won't stick to the screwdriver. I'll show you in the next video how you can get that screw in with minimal effort. You've got two pop connectors, one here for the lens, one for the LCD. And you can see I pried that one from the... Uh, from the bottom, this one from the top, based on the direction you're looking at the video. And that's it. That's all there is to removing the LCD from the phone. From this point, if I was going to replace the LCD with a new one, I'd have to remove a whole bunch of other stuff. But right now, I'm just going to get the metal plate off of the back. And hopefully, this way, we'll set this under the light for a few days. And if we're lucky, it may... Uh, you see, I was pointing out that the water damage indicator was tripped. Uh, but you'll have some screws that go around the perimeter that you need to remove. And uh, again, we'll put this under the light and hopefully it'll dry it out. If it does, you'll get to see the completed product here in a few days. Um, this is pretty basic stuff here. Just four on the sides, one on the bottom, and there are two on the top. You'll see here shortly. That can be removed. And I imagine this metal plate does more than just protect the LCD. And you see up here at the top, I went to remove it, but there's actually one more screw that's got to come out from the very top right here. So you've got uh, three, seven total, four on the sides, two on the top, and one on the bottom. And once you release those screws, you can just go ahead and remove the metal plate, and then we'll uh, see if we can dry this thing out.